Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I'm going to retry my Perseverance rover launch. Previously it had exploded in Mars's atmosphere. As a result I've increased some heat tolerances just for the heck of it. I've also reduced the mass of everything and reduced the amount of ablator we are carrying because actually Mars entry doesn't require as much ablator. Uh, these amounts are set to basically Earth re-entry, which is much more intense because of the thickness of the atmosphere and the heat involved. Really, the important thing for Mars is making sure you've got enough drag. And we'll see. We'll see about that as well. We didn't really get to that part. So anyway, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. So I added a custom drag cube to the heat shield, which will hopefully help. Copied that from the Lynx spacecraft that I previously made, which works okay. One thing I decided to do was add RCS build aid, but I'm not sure it's working properly. It was happy with the, the assembly after I tweaked it a little bit. So hopefully the thing is balanced, but it sure seemed rather imbalanced. That's why I decided to check it with RCS build aid. It was tilting in one direction very definitely. Which is not... Oh, I... That, that runway is misplaced. Oh, this install, I have to fix all that again. Anyway, um... Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> We're on the right uh, window though. This is the correct timing if we take a look at our date. July 30th, which is currently the no earlier than date, and so happens this is correct, and we might actually have a good transfer at this time. Okay, separation and separation. Alright, I still got the wheel warning from the rover. I don't know what's up with Kerbal Foundries and those wheels, but that's sort of a later thing to deal with. Okay... Alright, we need about 2,000 more fairing sep. Separation... Uh, there ought to be Separatrons on the Atlas, but I have not put those on. And ignition. And so, oh, uh, well, throttle doesn't matter for this engine, but... Uh, so, 2,000, uh, that means we have 4,200 meters per second of delta V with the Centaur stage now, which should be enough for any reasonable transfer to, to Mars. So, all good. Okay, maybe I do need to pitch up more here. All right, 260 by 176, 4,156 meters per second left. And if we get Mechjeb to give us a plot to Mars, ASAP, um, costs 3,975, so no problems. We could always do a little bit more with the cruise stage if necessary, but we're within budget. Now, I'm not doing anything with comms, so just a warning. Your comms situation may vary. I'm not testing it with comms right now. So again, if you get the parts in the video description, which I will place, uh, keep in mind where you need to add extra decouplers. Um, the solar panels are not built into the cruise stage. You need to add those. These RCS thrusters are also not built into the cruise stage. The parts are the cruise stage, the shell, the sky crane, the heat shield, and the rover body, not the rover wheels. Those will have to be added on separately. There is, you need to add a procedural decoupler between the sky crane and the rover, and otherwise the shell has its own decoupler, the heat shield, we just use Jess and heat shield, and the cruise stage has its own decoupler built in. But that's to separate it off of the shell and there needs to be a decoupler between the Centaur and the cruise stage. Okay, settling the fuel down.
which takes a lot longer than I'd like, but it's on time and ignition. Okay, last phase of the burn. Gonna go with kill rotation now. And shut down. Okay. And let's close that and see how we're doing at Mars. Um, probably we could just use RCS to move it. Clo oh no, that's the other way. Alright, uh, retrograde and then maybe we'll use RCS. We overburned a little bit. We'll probably need a mid-course adjustment still, we'll see. That'll be for the inclination part. This is this part, and then there's that part. Okay, separation. And we have been controlling from the Centaur, of course, so we need to change craft. And enable crossfeed on here. And I'm gonna go with sun down to make sure the solar panels at the top point towards the sun. I should have enabled staging of the heat shield in the... Oh, we are not controlling from there. Uh, enable heat shield staging when putting the craft together. Minor flaw. Alright, so we are oriented properly. And now we can plot the make course adjustment. No point plotting until we've done all the turning and everything. Okay, well that'll be good enough for now. Okay, well, let us depart Earth. Off we go. Right, so RCS burning for 17 meters per second. Still not concerning myself with landing in the right spot right now. Hopefully it's not going to be the nighttime side when we land, but I don't know. Um, 42 sounds good. 42 sounds like the right answer. Alright, so back over here. Okay, 42 kilometers. We'll see how that works out. Will it be too deep? Too shallow? There's Mars in full view. That's good. Maybe it will be lit when we arrive there. Okay, this is probably close enough. So, surface normal? And separation. So that's the cruise stage going off. And we are still in control of the cruise stage, so let's get that off. Switch vessels. We want to control from the sky crane. Which is this. Otherwise we're controlling from the rover, which is the root part. Okay, surface negative. And uh, actually we want to activate the RCS, though not the engines yet. We could, uh, we have the throttle down, we can pre-activate the engines I suppose. 3.5 tons. Anyway, let's get to the atmosphere. We are on battery. Oh well, on battery and the RTG, I suppose. Okay, so we're oriented negative surface. And let's see if anything blows up this time. Oh, so whether we have enough drag. Um, still seems to be using a lot of pitch and yaw. I swear RCS build, maybe RCS build age isn't working right. Because it was giving a flat zero. And that's suspicious. Okay, we are decelerating pretty well. No heat warnings yet. As long as we capture before we hit periapsis, that should definitely do the trick. So let's see. Mm, 
and the actual periapsis given the extra drag bringing it down and it's pretty close there's a capture all right oh camera all right well we're not gonna go all the way up I don't think Still, a blader loss is non-existent, basically, but that was true with the normal realism overhaul heat shields on Mars entry as well. So I guess that's just how it is. Yep, we're coming straight down. We're going to pop up a little bit here. So if you want to avoid that, I guess go down steeper. Though eventually the heat will get you. Well, it's ending up in the dark. Slowing down pretty well. Um, let's just... I don't know. Let me turn that off for now. It's not really that far. I was just a little bit off here. But we'll want it back on again to help stabilize soon, I think. Once we release from the shell, we might want... I should probably make the sky crane the root part, to be honest. That might make things a lot better. Oh, this is the parachutes already. Well, yeah, we're, uh, okay. They're, it's sort of imbalanced. That's just pre-deployment. That's full deployment on the parachutes. We're still sort of, oh, this one didn't deploy. Oh gosh, why? Okay, well, but it, uh, I must, it's misconfigured. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, that's a problem. Okay, just in heat shield. Okay, it didn't actually bump us in the rear end. It's rare. Okay, so I think that's probably why we're tilting in one direction, because the parachutes... I, I swear I copied to other parachutes and... But apparently not. Okay. We have been brought to velocities that we ought to be brought to. And I don't remember what altitude we're supposed to decouple and everything. I'm going to get the sky crane ready. I need to control from there. I think it'll try and control from the rover. Okay. I'll, I'll try it now. I don't know when is the right time. Hmm. Separation. Separation. Okay, make sure control from here. Retro. Oh, it's sort of sideways. Okay. Uh. Okay, that was too late. Uh, I might want to increase the power on the RCS thrusters. Oh no! <laughs> well, we have a lot of fuel. Oh, that's not gonna help though. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure we lost all the. Ow. Well, the rover body's still here. Rover body's got weird stuff happening to it. It's really slow. Oh, it, it, I think it's dancing. Is it dancing? Gosh darn it, why does that have to be in the dark? Hmm. Kerbal Foundry's wheels, or is it the body that's causing the problem? Deploy instruments. Or are we on like a slope? We might be on a slope. I can't see a darn thing. Okay, deploying instruments has slowed down the rotate. Okay, that, no, that shouldn't have an effect, but... Nope, it hasn't slowed down the rotation that much. It's a breakdancing rover. This is not how it acted on Earth. Hmm. We did test it out. Oh, the shell just landed. For those who can't see what's going on, we seem to be spinning on that edge. I don't know how that works. <laughs> um, I also don't know how to stop it. 
It's this wheel, I swear. This KF small rover wheel. I think the wheels are actually still on it. But when I highlight the rover body, it only highlights the rover body, of course. Okay, well, I mean... I don't know, maybe... Let me see how powerful those RCS thrusters on the Sky Crane are. Because maybe that's something to change. But if it seems like they'd be too powerful, I don't want to do that. But I don't know what the solution is otherwise. I mean, they're not weak. They're 220 newtons, so 0.22 kilonewtons. So I don't know if we should consider that too weak or is that strong. The I could add gimbling to the engine nozzles. They don't have gimbling right now. They're not gimbled, but maybe they can like have variable thrust or something that would control it. I don't know what to do about this though. Okay, let's go to the let's let's revert this and go back to the VAB and see what's up. So I'll give you what I have so you can try it on your own. Um, the Atlas V is in a separate pack. Uh, I posted a video about it before, and also it should be in the which video is that? I think the New Glenn. Yeah, the New Glenn video has all the real rockets in it that I've made, so it'll include the Atlas V. So that's that part. And then the cruise stage, uh, the only problem is it could be lighter, I guess, but you have to put the solar panels and the RCS on, but otherwise it worked fine. It did what it was supposed to do. The parachutes, um, which one are you? You're the wrong one. Okay, so like if I click this and I say apply to symmetry counterparts, which I thought I did before, and I check this, and now it's okay. All right. Now, now this is okay too, right? Okay. All right. Well, that'll be good for later. And the heat shield did what it was supposed to do more or less. Well, we didn't die. Now this bit, so what I was saying was, uh, here's the RCS build aid, so let me just check if it works. Um, no, it doesn't seem to be doing it. It's like that. So it's pretty close, but we might want to shift it. So it's more like that, I think. Maybe that'd be safer. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the center of mass and center of lift were not in the right place and that's why we were spinning too much and we couldn't control with the RCS or whether the RCS is just not as powerful as it needs to be. So that is a question. But what I think I'm gonna do is add a tiny bit of gimbling for the nozzles. They won't visibly Gimbal, the nozzles on the sky crane won't visibly gimbal, but the thrust vector will. And we'll do it like that. I'll give it maybe two degrees, and perhaps that'll help out. And so in the package that I link in the video description, that change will be in. And we'll see. You know, I'll have to try this again, obviously. So it continues, and we are going to persevere, as it were. And so this has been the second try with this. But we've made progress, but we haven't quite gotten there. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.